Did you know that Hunter Biden is an artist? That he paints things? Well, of course you didn't know that. Nobody knew that. Hunter probably didn't even know that until recently. However, Hunter Biden's artwork, his paintings, are going for sale, and they will reportedly sell from anywhere between $75,000 to half a million dollars. Half a million dollars Coke Boy is selling his paintings for. How on earth did this happen? Like I said, this, this dude is not an artist. If he's not an artist and his paintings are up for sale for half a million dollars and it's realistic that they might sell, what does this tell us? Of course this is unethical. This is a vulnerability to pay to play. Or to put it in other words, how is this fundamentally different from Bill Clinton's exorbitantly priced speeches that he gave to foreign entities while Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State? Obviously, Hunter Biden is selling his paintings And who is going to be interested in an original Hunter Biden? Nobody in their right mind, unless, oh, oh, unless they want access to one Mr. President Joe Biden. Even President Obama's former director of the Office of Government Ethics, the guy's name is Walter Schaub, said that this is outrageous. He said, I think it's ridiculous that Hunter Biden is even going forward with a sale as a first-time artist. He can't possibly think anyone is paying him based on the quality of the art. This smells like an attempt to cash in on a family connection to the White House. At a minimum, the president should be asking his son not to go through with this auction. So think about it this way. The Trump children had to stop and step away from their pre-existing businesses. They were successful business people. Yet when Donald Trump became president, They pledged publicly not to secure any new deals at the Trump Organization in order to appear that there was no conflict of interest in their business dealings. So it wouldn't appear that they were selling any access to their dad or that someone was attempting to purchase access to the President of the United States. That standard was for the Trumps. This standard, way down here, is for Hunter Biden. Here's my question. Who is buying Hunter Biden's artwork? This is not a rhetorical, who on earth would do something so stupid? This is a literal, practical question. Who exactly is buying Hunter Biden's artwork? What if it's a foreign entity? It probably is. Which foreign entity? What do they want? What happens if someone buys that piece of art and then asks for a meeting with Joe Biden? What happens if it comes out later that someone met with Joe Biden or any member of the administration, really, and it comes out later that that person had purchased one of Hunter Biden's paintings. This is crazy corrupt. It's actually dangerous to our nation. And by the way, there's a loophole in our corruption laws that allow the children of a U.S. politician to be paid even by a foreign government entity, but that doesn't make it right. That doesn't mean that you and I as the voters shouldn't hold politicians and the families of politicians accountable for this behavior. It's crazy, crazy corrupt. And I don't know about you, but when I think of Hunter Biden, artwork by Hunter Biden, all I can imagine is him finger painting or something. I mean, this guy is not an artist. He knows what he's doing. People buying this artwork are obviously just gonna be doing so to get access to the Biden administration. This is the definition of corruption. But the mainstream media, by the way, not a peep. They don't care. Hunter Biden's probably a good guy. He's just trying to make a buck selling his paintings. No corruption here. Look away then. Hi, before you go, let me talk to you about something. As you know, I've been censored on Facebook and YouTube. So I partnered with locals to create a censorship free community. I also just launched my show and I have a lot of exciting new things coming up that I want to make sure I can share with you and get your input on. I'm going to be sharing behind the scenes looks of my set and my show prep. And I get a lot of questions about my hair and makeup routines, my research process, and so much more. So I'll give you sneak peeks of all of that. I'll also be doing exclusive segments of my show just for Locals VIPs. All of my interviews will be shared on Locals for VIPs to watch as well. I'll be taking questions directly from VIPs for the video mailbag in my show, and you'll get the episodes free from ads. Who doesn't love that? Not to mention, I'll keep doing everything that you've already come to love. Ask me questions for live Q&As. Let's talk about your favorite books, what yummy vegan food I'm eating for lunch, and what ridiculous headlines I'm reading today. You can do all of that and more, 
but only if you are a Liz Wheeler Show VIP on Locals. The monthly subscription is $9 a month, but if you really want a good deal, we have an annual subscription for just $72. That's four months free, four months. So join me on Locals as a VIP. I'll see you over there.